Good morning everyone and Happy New Year. I hope you all had a lovely Christmas break, had a rest, got some lovely presents, maybe caught up with some family that you haven't seen for a long time. And now you're back ready to study again, get back into school or get back into your routine if you're stuck at home with COVID. So lovely to be able to be with you yet again stuck on a video rather than face to face but let's see if maybe by the end of term we're able to see each other face to face again so i'm going to ask you a question and for those of you who've been around in school for a while you probably know the answer to this question but hands up those of you who think that the christmas season is completely finished now all gone done and dusted everything packed away for good hands up those of you who think Christmas we finished with for another year okay right hands down hands up those of you who think that maybe a little tiny bit of Christmas is still going on for us in the church right well funny old thing I can't see how you voted because I'm stuck here on a video but those of you who put up your hands to say that you think a tiny little bit of Christmas is still going on in church you're the ones who win the vote you're right aha so now you all know the song the 12 days of Christmas on the first day of Christmas my true love sent to me that's finished we haven't got any of that bit of Christmas left because it starts on Christmas Day and it runs through until last week, actually, just as you were coming back to school. But something very important and special happened last Thursday, the 6th of January, which marks another little chunk of the church year. And it's got a very funny name. The date is the 6th of January and the name of that festival is Epiphany epiphany i'll try and put that up on the screen for you so that you can see how it's spelt but those of you who are in year five and six have a go epiphany begins with an e okay see if you can spell it um and then i'll pop it up at the end maybe of the video what does it mean though what does epiphany mean and why are we still in christmas if it's called something different well Epiphany means a revelation, something being transformed and explained to us and shown to us in a special way. And what is that thing? Well, it's that the little tiny baby in a cradle at Christmas, Jesus, isn't just a lovely baby, but he is someone different and he is going to change the world. It's a revelation of something new. And exciting and we don't just think about it on the 6th of January we think about it all the way through until the beginning of February so for a few weeks and so that's why if you go into our churches right now around the plane if you go into our churches you'll find that the crib is still out so the characters are still there the kings have arrived though because the kings are the people we celebrate or the wise men are the people who we celebrate on the 6th of January. Why? Why? Well, I said that epiphany means revelation, telling us something about this special baby. And when the wise men or the kings visited Jesus in Bethlehem when he was little, they brought him gifts. Now, you will all know what the gifts are. Let's see if we can remember. There's gold and then there's two others. Not Frankenstein, but frankincense. And not grrr, but mer, mer. Some more spelling there for the year fives and sixes. Year threes and fours can get involved as well if you want to. Try spelling frankincense and try spelling mer. They're not that easy. But those three gifts, they're not very useful for a baby, are they? But each of them tells us something about who this baby is. And that's why they're important. The first one, gold. 
Well, that's quite easy, really. We give gold as a gift because it's valuable. You might be given a golden locket or or cufflinks when you're an older young man and you're going to, tie, to do up your shirt cuffs with cufflinks. You might give gold to somebody um, as payment for something very expensive. Gold in those days when Jesus was a baby symbolized royalty. So the reason that Jesus was given gold was to remind us that he is a king. He is God's son and he is a king. Frankincense smells amazing. It's like a gummy substance, like the stuff that's stuck on the side of a tree, like tree resin. And when it's burnt, it smells really lovely. And if I were in school, I'd be able to bring some in and, and burn it for you so you could smell it. But frankincense was used in worship. And it's still used in worship today in churches and temples and all sorts of special places. So the frankincense gift was to say that Jesus was going to be a holy person, a person, a priest, someone who would offer prayers and um, learn about God or teach about God to the people. So Jesus is going to be a king and Jesus is going to be a priest. But what about the myrrh? Well, myrrh is another sort of spice and it smells quite strange. But it's used, or it was used, when someone had died to keep their body clean and, and fresh. And so people were wrapped in cloths that had myrrh on them. So Jesus was also given something that made us think about him dying, which is a really strange thing for a baby. But actually our whole story is about Jesus as a king, a leader, about him as a holy person teaching us about God and helping us to learn to pray. But it's also about Jesus dying on a cross like this one. Oh, finger can't point in the right direction there. Jesus dies on the cross when he's a young man. And it's a sacrifice, an offering of his body and his life for everyone else. So that's why myrrh was one of the gifts. Not that he needed it then, but that he would need it when he was older. So last week, when you were just back at school, the festival of Epiphany happened when we remember the wise men, also sometimes referred to as kings, taking gifts that remind us of who Jesus is, a king, a holy man, and a sacrifice. Next week and over the next couple of weeks, we'll be thinking of other things that tell us who Jesus is. And so when we catch up next week, I'll have a couple of little bits of the story for you from when he was a young man, not from when he was a baby. And that means, everyone, that actually you can carry on enjoying the special messages of Christmas for a little bit longer. So although you might be feeling a bit gloomy and a bit down in the dumps because it's January and it's dark outside, actually, you could try thinking, well, hang on a minute. I'm still celebrating because the message of Christmas is good news. It's about peace and hope and new life. And we can carry on celebrating those things all the way through this month until we get to Candlemas on the 2nd of February. Right, I'm going to stop for a moment, put up a picture on the video, and then we're going to have a prayer together. So here we go with a picture for you to think about. This amazing photo comes from a light display in our cathedral in Salisbury, Salisbury Cathedral. And that space there that you're looking at is looking up at the ceiling um, just below the huge tall spire that points up into the sky in the cathedral. And all those different shades of light and brightness are all very celebratory and joyful, aren't they? So I wonder if, instead of thinking about gold, frankincense and myrrh, we can think about other ways that God shows himself to us in our daily lives, in friendship, 
in love, in bright light and celebration? How do we know that God is with us? He's with us in the difficult times, but he's also with us in the fun times. He's with us when someone is kind to us or someone makes us feel better. And that's the true message of Christmas and this special season of Epiphany, that God is with us in all things and he is transforming us. So let's take a moment to reflect and I'm just going to say a short prayer and if you want to agree with that prayer you can join in at the end by saying Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for sending your son Jesus at Christmas to remind us that you will be always with us from the beginning of time until the end of time. We thank you for the visit of the wise men on Epiphany to help us to understand more about who you are and who Jesus is, our King, our Holy Man and a sacrifice for us. Help us as we continue to set out in this new year to know that you are walking with us and showing us new and exciting things every day. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I hope you have a great week and I will film another video for you next week and see you soon. Bye bye.